Hey guys and welcome to the lowest recoil build for the Vepa KM VPO 136. This is going to be based off the Vepa that you get from tier 2 skier for 30k. So as we're on tier 2 skier we need to get ourselves the Zenit RK3 pistol grip. As well as the Zenit RP1 charge handle for the AK. We then need to head over to tier 4. We need to get ourselves the Zenit RK24 grip. We need to get ourselves the Lantech Draken 762x39 muzzle brake and the Fab Defense PDC dust cover for the AK. We then need to head over to Mechanic. Tier 3, we need to get ourselves the Strike Industries key mod guide. Then over to Tier 4. And get ourselves the Viltor CMRD key mod for the handguard. We then need to head over to Peacekeeper tier 4. We need to get ourselves the Zukov-S for the AK. Now let's put everything together. And here you go. This is the lowest recoil build for the Vepa VPO136. Of course, if you want the lowest recoil sight, you need to head over to Prepper Tier 2 and grab yourself the Cobra EKP-8 reflex sight. Just bear in mind it does have minus 1% recoil, but it has a huge minus 6% in ergonomics. Okay, so we're inside the hideout. Let's see how the recoil goes from standing. I will try to click as fast as I can, but it's a semi-auto gun and you're meant to be tap firing. So here we go. So as you can see, I'm not the fastest clicker, but a lot of that is actually centralized to where the initial shot is. So that's actually quite impressive. Go from crouched. Once again, you can see the initial kick here. Where it jumps straight up into the chest. So you're basically shooting the guy's dick off and then you're going for his chest shot. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this gun will bring you some juice. I do have a lowest re uh, ergonomics, or uh, high, uh, highest ergonomics, should I say, sorry. Um, build on this gun, which I would recommend that you check out for semi-auto guns. It will be a link in the description. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.